Hello, this is Eddie from AppSheet here to help you build a mobile app with Google Maps and geolocation all without a single line of code. So to get started, let's take a look at a couple common use cases from um, the sample app repository. So you can see we can build apps for shipment tracking, for all sorts of inspections, driver jobs, logistics. But today I thought we'd build a simple app using a field service technician um, application as kind of our, our base idea. So um, to get started, we'll just go to, if you're a new user, you'll see a start for free, but for us, we'll start from this My Apps page and we'll click on a new mobile app. From here, we'll start with our own data. And so we're gonna call this app Field Service Mission. And this is a field service app and we will choose our data. Our data is from, in this case, we're gonna use a Google Sheet, but in, in reality, you can use anything from Excel, Dropbox, Excel and Dropbox, Office 365, OneDrive, Smartsheet, SQL, Salesforce. Um, but we're going to choose this field service locations spreadsheet right here. So you can see that once we've connected our Google Sheets to the AppSheet platform, we now have a automatically generated app um, in our emulator right here. So this is pulling data directly from our Google Sheets. And in this case, we have a very simple app that allows our field tech to manage um, the different services they got to do at these popular sites like CenturyLink Field and Seattle Art Museum, the Space Needle. You can click into each of these entries. You can edit them, find out different things that are going on. Um, if we shift to our map view, you can also see all the different locations that our field service tech needs to visit today. Let's explore this app. Let's take a look at what's actually going on here. So we go to the data tab over here on the left. And under field service locations, we can see <clears throat> view source and we see our data source gets pulled up. So that entire app is just getting generated from the simple spreadsheet that has our locations, um, the lat long, latitude, longitudes, um, images that are in the Google Drive repository that this is linked to and um, notes. So for your app, you can have any number of column headers that represent fields that are important to you and any number of rows that represent each uh, piece of data. For a larger data set, you could also go beyond Google Sheets and use a database like SQL um, to have thousands, if not at times even millions of rows and entries. So with our data source, we can also modify some of the columns from our app editor to specify what exactly they are and how we want them to function. We can create slices, which are basically just subsets of the data. And from those data and the slices, we then have these views that we can create. And so, for instance, with our, our primary view right here, we have this in deck form right now, but we can turn that into a table. Um, as you see, it kind of shrinks and makes it a smaller header. Um, we have gallery views, um, all sorts of views. You can see whatever might make sense for your specific use case. We can also customize our app with unique branding properties, formatting rules, different options, and so forth. In the behavior section, we can also add different actions to enable the app to automatically add or delete um, rows or jump to different views and things of that nature. We can create workflows. So for instance, you know, whenever a task is completed, it could send an email report to your supervisors. That would be something you could set up here. You'd automatically generate reports. For instance, at the end of every day, every task that gets completed could have a report that is sent out to management. Um, and then with app security, in this column, we have the ability to adjust who can sign into this. Is this a public app? Is it a private app? Um, do they need a whitelisted domain to be able to sign into it? We can connect this with different authentication platforms um, from Google and Microsoft and um, AWS and others. So this is really just a high level overview of what an AppSheet app can accomplish. But keep in mind that there are hundreds of features we're not even using in a simplistic app like this and that you can connect with your unique data sources in such a way to build a whole suite of apps that can empower your business or organization. So once we're ready to deploy the app, we can simply go to not deployed at the top. And from there, we can move our app to a deployed state. And our app is now fully functional and any users that you've designated for this app will receive an email where they can install the app to their smartphone or tablet or browser device. There you have it. That is how you build a mobile app with Google Maps and geolocation without a single line of code. Um, if you're looking for ideas, feel free to head over to appsheet.com, hit sample apps, um, search for the maps feature, and take a look at some of the work that has already been done. Or if you're ready to get going, head over to appsheet, 
can start for free and you can start building your own app today. Thanks.